when it comes to milkweeds, some of the most popular milkweeds here on the East Coast is the purple milkweed. And for some reason, about four or five years ago, I had three little seedlings and I planted them over here. This behind me used to be uh, nothing. It was a, a giant Japanese maple and it was so shady and the ground was so dry, nothing was there. And we may have accidentally stumbled upon the perfect habitat for the purple milkweed. Let me show you all of our purple milkweed on the side of the driveway. It just so happens that the purple milkweed loves some sun in the morning and shade in the afternoon. And it seems to do best growing up through other perennials. And we stumbled upon the perfect spot. And it's on a slope, so it doesn't sit in a damp soil, uh, especially in the winter. And while it is uh, not aggressive like its uh, um, cousin, the common milkweed, it does spread by rhizoms. But this was three little seedlings that we thought we lost. And in one year, a sprout came up into, uh, from all the other perennials. And then the next year, about 20. And then after that, now we've got about 100. So this is our purple milkweed. Take a look at the flowers. Amazing. And it's identifiable by usually a, a streak of purple, the same color as the flower. This one gets about, oh, I'm going to say two to three feet tall in our yard. And from its original seedlings, yeah, I think this is maybe the fifth year, these have all come up. And now it's spread about 16 to 20 feet up, uphill. Uh, this is the edge. You can see these are all new this year, right there. And we even have one coming up here. So next year, I'm assuming all of this is gonna be, all of this here is gonna be filled in with more milkweed. The deer have eaten everything there. But let's get back to the milkweed. This species is uh, actually tough for it to go to seed. We get very few seed pods. I'm assuming that's why this is so desirable. But, look at the bees. This is the unopened bud. Be taking a rest. Pretty cool color. Every once in a while we get one that is a really deep purple. And you can tell the difference between this milkweed and common. Uh, they do share a, a similar leaf. But again, take a look at the leaf line. And these flowers are more upright. See how it sits upright to the plant where the common milkweed tends to kind of hang over. But again, I think we accidentally found the perfect habitat. Morning sun for about three to four hours on a slope where it gets water but doesn't stay damp. It grows up between other plants and it has it has shade from the hot afternoon sun. Purple milkweed. This guy is tough to uh, set seed pods and uh, 
even when it does, there's nasty beetles that eat all the seeds. So this one is kind of tough to gather seeds. But once you get it going, we found this one to be as easy as any of the milkweeds. Except for maybe common. <laughs> that you can't kill. But even when it all looks good, we've got some type of pest drilling into the stems and causing the sap to leak out, weakening the buds. Haven't figured out what it is yet, but I'm sure when I do, I'm not going to be happy about it. This is purple milkweed. We got it all, we got a lot, we got a fight to keep what we really want. Don't you forget, no, no, what your father told you, that there's a lot of life that is far beyond you. We're saving a piece at a time, one step in the right direction. Protecting that far and wide, a piece of our wild side.